The thing is, language has many ways to convey the same meaning. And then when I learned about Bitcoin, I did a paradigm shift. So then I thought to myself, if this dog can be money, what else could be money? They have no understanding of what real money is. Now you see me, now you see me, right? So they have this Ponzi scheme that is fucking everybody on the planet. Now you see me, now you see me, right? These states are making laws against people transferring numbers. Come see me, come talk to me. Just don't worry about it. And the Federal Reserve, do you lose nine trillion dollars? How can you lose nine trillion dollars? Uh, They're just paying off for drugs, for wars. They're the fucking money launderer. They're ripping us the fuck off. And we know that with Bitcoin, you can't lose a cent because everything's on the blockchain and everything is recorded. It says Congress shall not make no law abridging the freedom of speech. That's the First Amendment, and that protects numbers, protects words. Where does it end? So what I'm saying is our system is better. They're holding us back, and we have the power to fight through free speech. Where does it end? Where does our rights as citizens end? We have the right to disseminate crypto all throughout the state, all throughout this world, and, it's, and I feel it's our duty to do so. So that's why, you know, I started TeachBitcoin.org to teach people our rights and how we can disrupt the system and fuck them up because they're holding us back as a society.